I added over $10,000 a month to my marketing agency uh, by posting videos on this YouTube channel, actually. A lot of people don't know that before uh, I was doing SMMA content on this channel. I was actually posting content for real estate agents. And uh, just the month before I switched over to SMMA, I had about 400, 450 subscribers, something like that. Uh, and I added over $10,000 in revenue to my business that month, which was December of 2022. Um, so when I started posting videos in general, it was actually for my email list. So I had an email list. I would send a, uh, an email out every Thursday. I would send an email linking people to a YouTube video uh, just with a goal of nurturing my leads and helping people get to know me and get to know the way that I would think because I look a lot younger than I am, but even then I'm still young being 24. So a lot of people who are in business, real estate agents, the average real estate agent is something like 55 years old. So um, a lot of them like working with younger guys who get the tech stuff, who get the marketing stuff, but a lot of them are still skeptical because us younger guys have limited business experience. Uh, so I wanted to you know, post videos and, and help people get to know me a little bit better and show them the inside of my brain because I'm a very analytical person, I'm very technical and everything like that. Uh, so I would post, uh, I would record a video every Thursday, upload it to YouTube and send it to my email list and my thinking was, eh, maybe I can send some people over to the YouTube and so on and so forth. Uh, one place I went wrong here was I didn't play the YouTube game. Uh, there is a game to be played on YouTube, which is creating titles, thumbnails, hooks, and content. So four things, title, thumbnail, hook, content, that uh, attract people, make them want to click on the video, and then make them stick around, and ideally make them watch more of your content, because that's how you get recommended on YouTube. You keep people on the platform longer, therefore YouTube gets to make more money uh, from ads, right? Uh, and I wasn't playing that game at all, I was just uploading content from my email list, so... Uh, at the beginning, I didn't even have thumbnails. Uh, my titles were very much a thing like, uh, you know, real estate marketing part one kind of thing, right? Like ad budgets, right? Um, so, you know, there's there wasn't much room for me to grow on YouTube with literally no thumbnail, no hook, and basically no title with how basic the titles were and the fact that I wasn't playing that game. So anyway, um, it took me, I think like, you know, six months of posting to get to 22 subscribers. I remember that number very clearly. I came to this point in time where I was like, I'm spending about, you know, 30 minutes to an hour a week doing this. My time is, is valuable. It's, it's time to either double down or it's time to quit. So I almost quit my YouTube channel. This would have been, you know, November of 2021. Almost completely quit, shut it down for good. And I sat down and you know, went to make a decision. And whenever I make a decision, I, I write notes and think the process through. Or I'll, I'll type my thoughts out into a notes document on my computer. And uh, I remember doing that and uh, I did it with uh, pencil and paper. And the, conclu the conclusion I came to was, okay, double down. So I started playing the YouTube game for the first time. Um, I looked into, you know, like uh, YouTube growth courses and one of the things that I learned was to comment on other people's channels uh, as a means of getting traffic. So being in the real estate niche, I would look up real estate marketing, real estate Facebook ads, real estate lead generation, things like this. And I would find all of the, the most popular channels. I would subscribe to all of them. And then every day for an hour, I would write 10 com or every day I would write 10 comments, 10 insightful comments on all of the new videos on each of these channels with a goal of getting thumbs up getting to the top of the comment section, and then therefore getting traffic sent over to my channel, and ideally having some people click, watch my videos, get to know me, like me, and then in my videos I could give call to actions to people, and then send them over to my, uh, my landing page where they could opt in, I could get their phone number and call them, and then they can go watch my VSL, where they can you know ideally go and book a call with me. So the funnel structure, just to be really clear, would be YouTube video, link in description to VSL, or to landing page rather, I'd send them to a landing page, name, number, email, they would opt into that landing page, watch my VSL, and then from my VSL, I'd be selling them on booking a call with me, where on that Zoom call, I would be selling my services. Now, from there, um, it, it was a real grind. I was doing this, you know, to write 10 insightful comments, it was taking me, you know, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour per day, five days per week, and I did, did this for about two to three months, where 
uh, I ended up getting to, you know, something like 80 or 100 subscribers or 120, maybe, maybe 150, uh, before I stopped doing the comments. So this, just to really kind of drive that point home, uh, if we're looking at 20 business days a month, I probably spent 60 hours just writing comments to only get 150 subs. Um, what was really interesting, though, is here and there calls would start trickling in. And um, within really not that long, I had made, you know, something like $20,000 or $25,000 in sales. Um, but what's interesting with YouTube Organic is there's this compounding effect. With time, you get rec with, with viewers, you get, recommend you get recommended more and then you get more viewers and then you get recommended even more. And there's this kind of flywheel effect. Now your channel can die if you stop posting and so on and so forth. So I made sure I stuck to that one post per week or one upload per week consistency. So at this point, just to be clear about what I'm doing, I'm intentionally writing hooks and trying to make sure people stick through the videos. I'm creating thumbnails that are a little bit more than either nothing or real estate marketing part one email marketing. Um, I'm also making you know titles that are, this is one thing that's interesting, there are two main content styles um, that I, I was using, and I mean, I still use them to this day. One is evergreen content. This is where uh, you find content that people are searching for based on search terms. So real estate Facebook ads 2024, for example, real estate Facebook ads tutorial 2024. Great one to do. There's a lot of search volume on it. I used a Google Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. At the time it was free and you'd be able to see the search volume for each keyword. Um, but uh, what it, it ended up being like, a, I don't know, you know, 10 bucks for some X amount of credits eventually. And, and that's fine. It's not very expensive. It's, it's pretty cheap. Uh, but I used that in order to find, um, you know, less competitive and higher volume uh, search terms. And I would do, I would spend a decent amount of time in the YouTube search bar finding what people are looking for. So I would type in real estate, real space, estate, space, the letter L. And then from there, see what pops up. Lead generation, right, uh, and, and whatever else comes up. And it could be, you know, lead generation with Facebook ads, right? Um, lead generation, Google ads. So then I'd start making videos like, you know, real estate, which is better for real estate lead generation, Facebook ads versus Google ads for real estate lead generation, right? So now when people are searching these things up, I have the opportunity to rank provided I have enough traffic. And with time, these videos slowly, slowly, slowly start growing. And then after a while you realize like, whoa, I actually have a lot of traffic and people are consistently coming in from these things. It, it takes a long time to start YouTube organic. There were no YouTube shorts at the time. Today, you can start posting YouTube shorts very consistently. You can tag your long form content and just give yourself an influx of traffic. Crazy thing that you can do. Highly recommend if you're going to be creating um, long form YouTube content for your agency. Uh, and, and with time, you know, I slowly over, you know, at this point, it was like January or February that I had these 150 subs over the course of the year. I just continued on course. And, and by the way, content style one is the evergreen content style. Two is viral content content that typically has a, a growth curve, a view curve of going way up and then it flatlines. Whereas evergreen content generally grows like this over a long period of time. So those are two content styles that I was playing around with, some to inject views quickly, some to inject views consistently over a long period of time, just to make sure that we can you know, build this machine, this ecosystem and just get recommended more and get more viewers and give myself more opportunities to get more views, to get more traffic. Um, and to keep people on the platform longer and also to send people over to my landing page and so on and so forth. Because then what happens is people opt into your landing page, you give them a call and they're like, oh, it's you from the videos. Like it's, it's actually you calling me. And it makes the whole experience much more real for people. And one crazy added side benefit of posting YouTube videos or even, you know, it could be Instagram reels or something like this to grow your agency is uh, the people who watch your videos are generally like you. I'm... I'm pretty analytical, um, so a lot of you guys watching my videos are like that, and you may see yourself in me. Uh, that's very true, so you actually end up attracting like-minded clients by posting organic content, and it's really, really cool. And so it, it took me a long time, and I was still sending cold emails, I was doing this, I was doing that, but this was one of the things that I was chipping away at over a long enough period of time as you know a means to get additional clients. And then later that year, so towards the end of 2022 in November, I posted a video kind of just breaking down my expertise on um, 
it just funnels all together in lead quality. I actually made a video on this channel that is very, very similar. It was, it's called I Solved the Number One SMMA Lead Generation Problem. That video is kind of like a rip from when I initially uploaded it, which was I Solved the Number One Real Estate Lead Generation Problem. So it's search-based, but at the same time, it's also like a viral kind of idea. So it's a bit of a hybrid there. And this started getting a lot, a lot of uh, views and a lot of traffic. And I also gave uh, a CTA to my VSL at the end of the video. And in December of 2022, you know, I had done a little over $10,000 or 10, 11,000, maybe even $12,000 in sales. It was over 10 for sure. That's all I know. Um, and, and then from there in January, I got another like 30 calls or something like that. And like, it was wild. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, on this channel added over $10,000 and I only had 450 subs. Like you don't have to have a major channel to, to do these things. Now, of course, it depends on the size of your niche, your market size, so on and so forth, search volume, this kind of thing. Um, but even being able to, you know, upload shorts to send traffic to your channel, you'll be able to achieve a result like that so much faster than I was. Um, so highly, highly recommend it. Uh, I don't really see people talking about YouTube organic for SMMA, but to be fair, I don't watch SMMA YouTube organic content anymore. Um, but it's still a, a, you know, a good place to start, which is obviously how you guys are watching these videos. So I wanted to share that story with you guys. Um, that being said, if you're looking for, you know, more intricate information on these things, there's a guy behind my YouTube channel named Hassan. Uh, he's inside my private scaling group for agency owners. And, uh, he talks about organic content. He's worked with some major, major brands, Fujifilm, so on and so forth. I'm actually hanging out with him in person right now. He's in the other room. Um, and, uh, so if you're interested in, in joining a private scaling group with like-minded agency owners who are really looking to get to the next level and uh, just focus on mastery, playing the long-term game, not the get rich quick, but doing this legit, doing it for real and actually making your agency work in the long run, uh, then click the link in the description, go book a call with me and we can have a chat about it. Uh, that being said, uh, if that's not something you're interested in at the moment, that's perfectly fine. Keep watching my, my free content because I'm giving away real serious value. Um, if that's the case, go click on my channel, watch other videos there if you found this valuable. Otherwise, click whatever's popping up on screen for you and I'll see you there.